but also beginning to feel all the unseen support that's here, right here. Just opening a little bit to being fully supported in this moment, supported just to take a fuller breath, supported just to become a little more welcoming to yourself. We call this gathering animal and nature assisted awakening because we have the fullest support for the sleepiest parts of ourselves, those parts that are so ancient and subtle to be supported into awakening together in each other's presence. It's really miraculous. So feeling yourself fully here in your body and connected with the earth is what Travis is, is doing for us right here. Imagine if you had four feet on the ground circulating with the earth. how much earth energy you would be able to connect with, with four leg channels. And a horizontal spine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we'll call in now all of these great nature beings. And just for sound quality, I'm going to have us on mute. But we'll have a time to unmute freely and share dialogue after, after we begin just recalibrating, taking in transmissions. And to do that, we definitely need to open up the soles of our feet, our hooves, and open up the antennas at the top of our heads and begin to unfurl the wings that are innately part of your heart center. And again, we'll call on all of our beloved kindreds to support this unfurling and this recalibrating. So I invite you all now to just go into your heart and any animal and nature being, human form or formless that you would like to call in you can do so silently in your own heart or out loud, you're on mute and you are heard through the whole, the whole echo chamber of the universe. And I begin calling us all in fully, all who are here, our essence, allowing that essence to do be breathed into embodiment more fully. And then one another, as we go deeper into ourself and welcome ourself, we meet everyone, all of our kindred human brothers and sisters.
We invite them in, all beings here. And the herd of light, which is not just the five horses I call in, but they began these gatherings. So I start with them with reverence. Yoshi, Travis, Khalil, Teddy and Taz and the unseen but fully felt presence of Omar. And then extending this herd out in ripples to all of your beloved healing light beings that are disguised as animals, horses, cats, dogs, all teachers of the mystery. the ones who have shared the most intimate space with you in your daily lives. Those precious souls that have also dissolved their form and are fully present, maybe even more so now. We invite them in. And the trees and the elements, the oceans, the water, the fire, the air, the earth herself, Mother Gaia, the moon, the stars, the mysteries of space. The flowers, the fauna, the plants and sprouts and seedlings and roots, and the soil itself. We invite in the Arctic beings, oceanic beings, the rainforest dwellers, forest dwellers, all the farm animal beings, the safari beings. the desert dwellers, the winged ones, the clouds, the vapors, the unseen world of bacteria and viruses, especially this coronavirus that is interfacing so intimately with our collective. of reptiles and amphibians, marsupials in Australia, rodents, insects, spiders, arachnos. And all the light beings that are the highest guidance, the saints and sages, enlightened beings of the ages, 
the rocks, the crystals, Father Sun and Sister Moon. So just feeling the circle now that you are so intimately interwoven with breath by breath, feeling the intimacy and the vastness. And allowing yourself to feel supported and held fully in this moment. Then in the center of the circle, it's a center that is everywhere. For this, the circle has no circumference. We place in the center a flower of our deepest yearning, our deepest intention. It's a flower that gets placed as a bouquet with all of the other soul intention flowers. And there's an alchemy of all of these intentions that we breathe in. And then we send out into the hole. I use the tone OM. You can use your own tone to sing out, to ripple out this intention into the hole. Thank you for being here, beloved kindred. We all are kindred. We are going to open up to receiving transmissions. They are frequencies that are expressed through a translation of words. But they're really frequencies so you can just bathe in them just let your mind relax and bathe and you will know what feels right for you to take in and what feels right for you to let go and you can feel the dance of the frequencies in your own individual, beautiful, unique energy body. And the transmissions for this month, we will be exploring are the interface, the, the way we interface with the mystery. The part that we play And beginning to become familiar with our embodied interface with the mystery of all that is. So the first transmission came through from the heart of nature consciousness. As one collective consciousness. 
made up of multiplicity, but converged in unity in our own true nature. And it began with this beautiful sigh asking to be felt fully. And you may want to also just take a moment to sigh. Ah. We are here for many reasons. One which we would like you to recognize is an intentional soul purpose we carry up through the soil into the soles of your feet, circulating up your leg channels and into your physical embodied vessel. A soul to soul reigniting of the inner spark of wordless awe. May you awaken awe. May you breathe awe. May you remember awe as your natural way of being. Truly, awe is the most acute, resonant frequency response in the face of the mystery. And this is the exploration we lead you on here and now. deep inner exploration of bringing honed awareness to your ways of interfacing with the mystery of all that is. A deep inner exploration of bringing honed awareness to your way of interfacing with the mystery of all that is. It is time to bring your part in this interface into full conscious light. For most of our human kindreds, most of our human kindreds interface with the mystery through an unconscious frequency of fear and have resorted to coping with such existential fear by allowing the mind to feign control, breaking the mystery down into conceptual bites and chewing on these bites. This digesting of more and more information sets up an unsustainable circulation, an artificial imposter for safety. As you can imagine, when these pathways become the most utilized response of interface with the mystery, then the circulation faculties of your true natured response of pure awe, atrophy. Faculties of awe in response to the mystery are what we are here to awaken again. Holy awe. A breath by breath interface with the mystery of all that is here and now. Ah.
So taking this in now. Bathing. In the frequency of these words. From the heart of nature consciousness. Beginning with a full embodied sigh. We are here for many reasons. One which we would like you to recognize is an intentional soul purpose. We carry up through the soil into the soles of your feet, circulating up your leg channels and into your physical embodied vessel. So again, we'll open the soles of our feet. Beginning to allow in a fuller circulation from soil to sole of the foot and from sole of nature to our essence, to our soul beingness, fully grounded here and now in the embodied vessel of you. Circulating up your leg channels fully. A soul to soul reigniting the inner spark of wordless awe. A reigniting of the wordless awe, the spark, the soul spark. May you awaken awe. May you breathe awe. May you remember holy awe as your way of being. Truly, awe is the most acute resonant frequency response. The most acute resonant frequency response in the face of the mystery. And this is the exploration we lead you on here and now. A deep inner exploration of bringing honed awareness to the ways you interface with the mystery of all that is. It is time to bring your part in this interface into full conscious light. For most of our human kindreds interface with the mystery through an unconscious frequency of fear and have resorted to coping with such ex existential fear by allowing the mind to feign control, by breaking the mystery down into conceptual bites and chewing on these bites as Kalia licks and chews. Thank you, Kalia. This digesting of more and more information sets up an unsustainable circulation 
an artificial imposter of safety. As you can imagine, when these pathways become the most utilized response of interface with the mystery, then the circulation of faculties of your true natured response of pure awe, atrophy. So let's just feel this inside these systems, these pathways. And their frequency. Faculties of awe in response to the mystery are what we are here to awaken again. Holy awe. A breath by breath interface with the mystery of all that is here and now. So we breathe this in gently and fluidly and effortlessly. We begin to hone awareness to our part in the circulation of this soul food, this natural response to the mystery of all that is. And as I receive this transmission this morning, as I mentioned, as we began to gather, Travis came over and amazingly enough, Khalil, who is right now breathing with us, Travis just got spooked. Something scared him. He doesn't usually get spooked. So I took note and taking note, he just ran over here. Khalil allowed Travis to, to breathe with me and to offer this transmission, which is a rarity because usually Khalil is um, wanting to be in the forefront. And then this transmission was really offered in a physical way by Travis, where Travis took his, his muzzle and he just pushed right here with force, just once on my, on my forehead, the center of my forehead. And then he, arranged his muscle so it was right next to my nostril and then this transmission came through now we awaken the circulation of holy awe these pathways and faculties that you came here with that have gone to sleep well, you surely can feel it when they awaken. You know when your legs fall asleep and blood flow is regained, a tingling of pins and needles. Yes, it is like this with the subtle organs. 
and circulation and perception of holy awe awakens. First, you must see how the collective and your part in it interfaces with the mystery. How this unconscious interface has become a response that feels like a massive, forced, unconscious holding of the breath. This unconscious collective interface with the mystery has become a response that feels like a massive, forced, unconscious holding of the breath. The collective human race is in a state of imbalanced holding of the breath. You must get the breath to flow again like this. Open your nostrils wider. Receptors of holy awe live right there. Right there. Feel them. Now, with these expanded portals, take in the mystery fully. Start there. Notice the mystery is fully welcomed and received with your inhalation. Opening the nostrils wider and breathing in the mystery more fully and notice how the mystery is fully welcomed now and received with each inhalation And then notice the turning point where the breath is neither inhalation nor exhalation. The turning point of the breath, but don't hold on to that miraculous still point. Don't hesitate or rush it. Just allow the natural release of the breath to follow, but do pay Close attention to that turning point of the breath where the mystery alchemizes into holy awe and is naturally released. Released fully to make room for a fuller interface with the mystery with your very next involuntary inhalation. Again now, with the mouth open, open widely, perhaps even a yawn. Making room, more room to breathe. And feeling the muscles of the mouth portal let go to let in more fully again and again this mystery the breath begins the waking up of the innermost pipeline of breath by breath natural interface with the mystery.
simply start right there, right here, right now, with this very breath that breathes you back to your natural home. That's Khalil's mouth resting on the corner of the phone. <laughs> oh, so beautiful. I'll read this again as we practice it together from Travis and Khalil. Now we awaken the circulation of holy awe. These pathways and faculties that you came here with that have gone to sleep, well, you surely know what it feels like when they awaken. You know when your leg falls asleep and blood flow is regained a tingling of pins and needles. Yes, it's like this. With the subtle organs and circulation and perception of holy awe. First, you must see clearly how the collective and your part in it interfaces with the mystery. How this unconscious interface has become a response that feels like a massive forced unconscious holding of the breath. The collective human race is in a state of imbalanced holding of the breath. You must get the breath to flow again, like this. Open your nostrils wider. Receptors of holy awe live there. Right there. Feel them. Now, with these expanded portals, take in the mystery fully. Just start right there. Right here. Notice the mystery is fully welcomed and fully received with your inhalation. And then notice the turning point where the breath is neither inhalation nor exhalation. Don't hold on to that miraculous still point. Don't hesitate nor rush it. Allow the natural release of the breath to follow. But do pay close attention to that turning point of breath, which is neither inhalation nor exhalation. where mystery alchemizes into holy awe and is naturally released. And again, where exhalation turns to still point, where the still point is neither exhalation nor inhalation. 
and wear holy awe alchemizes and interfaces with the mystery. Just following the breath. Releasing fully to make room, to fully, fully make room for a full interface with the mystery, with your very next involuntary inhalation. Again now with the mouth open widely. Perhaps even inviting in a yawn. Feel the muscles of the mouth portal. Let go to let in. More fully again and again this mystery. The breath begins the waking up of the innermost pipeline of breath by breath, natural interface with the mystery. Simply start right here and now with this very breath. This very breath that breathes you back to your natural home. So here and now with this collective strengthening, feel the self-sustaining circulation. This natural circulation of opening, letting in, and alchemizing awe in response to this great mystery that we all swim in, that we all are. Allowing nostrils to become open. Mouth open and relaxed. And breath circulating freely. And we thank Travis, that simple, powerful, breath by breath, beginning of a more natural interface, a more sustainable circulation of our innermost, if you will. And then Travis said, the fountain of awe now flows. The fountain of awe now flows through the center of your head in the space where gray matter nor neither gray matter nor no matter neither gray matter nor nor no matter right there lives a portal in the center of your head in the space 
neither gray matter nor no matter lives a portal. Now breathe from there. Breathe from there and enjoy the tingling, tickling awakening of this subtle organ, which is both receptor and transmitter. This space of holy awe is awake. The fountain of awe flows through the center of your head in the space, neither gray matter nor no matter lives a portal. Now breathe from there. Enjoying the tingling, tickling awakening of this subtle organ, which is both receptor and transmitter. The space of holy awe is awake. So we'll bathe silently in this tingling awakening. And we thank all of the nature beings. We recognize them as one with our true nature. In all of their glorious diversity. This includes each of us. And as we breathe in the gift of these frequencies more fully 